Hello guys, what is going on? FMU here, welcome back to a brand new season with Crow Alexandra on Grassroots to Greatness. So, we got promoted last year, it was a glorious time for all involved, and now it's time to battle our way through League One. First of all, uh, normally we'd do the results roundup here, but I'm going to do transfer roundup, so we're just going to quickly go through the players that have come into the club, um, and then we're going to press on with the start of the new season. Sweet. First off, we made Kieran Agard's uh, transfer, well, loan from uh, Bristol City permanent. We managed to pick him up and the end of his contract. Uh, £2,600 a week and more than what I wanted to pay him. But I think, you know, we should be okay because we've let quite a few players go. So uh, he's kind of evened it out a bit. But he did really well for me last season. Wasn't prolific all the time, but he scored some really, really important goals and was a really important player in our promotion challenge. Another free signing from Blackpool this time is Sanchez Watt, the former Arsenal trainee. 56 appearances, 6 goals for Blackpool. Um, so really pleased to have him there. He's also had experience at this level with Colchester as well. So really pleased to pick him up. He's a pacey guy. Um, be interested to see how he does. Um, only signed him on a one-year deal to the end of this season. So uh, he's, uh, he's basically going to be playing to earn himself an extension throughout the rest of the season. So if he doesn't cut it, we'll just get rid of him. Simple as that. Another free transfer, George Munker from Colchester. Played against him in the player final. I, uh, I said to you then, I quite like the way he plays and stuff and quite like him as a player on the game. Uh, he was available on a free. He's cost us actually 80 thousand pounds compensation i think it was which was a bit st yeah eighty one thousand pounds compensation he cost us which was a bit steep but still uh definitely worth bringing him in and uh, i think he's gonna do all right for us i think he could be a decent player you saw me offer him the contract and john snow has joined us from airdrie um it was £12,500 compensation was paid and he's gone straight out on loan to Macclesfield so he's down there but yeah I'm looking forward to seeing how he develops good old Jon Snow let's see what he actually does know Courtney Metman Walter he's come in on a free from Carlisle after his um, release from them 93 appearances two goals for them i've brought him to play on the left if i'm honest to be cover his left back but you can play in the middle so that's a bit of a bonus but yeah he's come in because uh raheem hanley uh kicked up a right fuss so we ended up terminating his contract by mutual consent so he's sodded off now because uh he was being a right little bitchy mare bagging in the first team so as soon as he went i brought courtney mep and walter in to replace him as the backup left-sided defender Desmond Forbes has come into the club as well uh, on loan from Crystal Palace, 17 year old striker, uh, brought him in on loan, I like the look of him uh, from my scout report that we did on him, so he's got 7 pros and only 2 cons, which is amazing really, um, and he's also classed as our best striker, which is interesting, Matt Fryer has come in on a free, um, Again, £2,400 wage is a bit more than what he to pay, but he could be very, very prolific for us at this level. Uh, injuries do worry me a little bit with him, but we'll have to see how he does going forwards. Well, apart from the interruptions there, that seemed like it went well. Um, basically, there's been a few ins, a few outs, a few lefts, a few rights, a few ears and airs everywhere going on this transfer window. And... Um, so we can go back now and have a little look. We've done the roundup of those guys. Uh, outgoings, uh, Azar Osborne's been released. Guthrie has been released for the first team. The rest are just the youngsters. Um, Carlisle of signed Larry Dallavalla from us for just under £15,000. So he's gone. Um, and that's about it, I think. Oh, yeah, and Raheem Hanley's left us after having a Mardi. He's gone to Oldham, interestingly. Um, so yeah, he's there at Oldham now, so we'll be coming up against him this season, I believe. Yep, they're a League One side, they didn't get relegated or promoted, so yeah, we'll be coming up against him again this season. Be interesting to see how he does against us, I guess. Um, in terms of our pre-season matches, we've done alright. Um, we beat. We only played a couple, we beat Halifax 2-1. Ryan Colclough with both the goals there. We lost to Wigan. Uh, Marcus Barnes with our consolation goal against them. And then we beat Nantwich 3-1. Agard and O'Connor with the goals. So we're going to be starting with a live con today against Swindon. And depending on how long the video has gone, I might do Leeds as well. And then look at that. Local derby against the Vale in the Johnston's Paint Trophy first round. That's a tasty affair. But uh, we're going to jump straight into the game. 
Yes, I know I haven't selected the first 11 yet. God damn you. Let's have a look. So they're fraping Desmond Forbes straight in up top. Um, Emmanuel's injured. Saunders is injured. Uh, and the rest of these guys are not exactly match fit. So really, the the starting lineup picks itself to a degree because we don't have the capability to replace anybody uh, at the moment. Um, although Atkinson can drop down for Mon no, no, Finney can go on the bench for today. Um, that's fine. We'll leave those guys out as they are, and then. Mr. Cole, Casper Cole, we're having to reject bids already. Uh, we've rejected three bids from Watford for him already. So he could go. He's only worth 5k. They're offering like eight, nine hundred thousand pounds, which is sweet. But I want a couple of million for him, to be fair. I think he's going to go on to be an absolute stonking player. So I'm holding out. I'm not letting him go cheap. That's for sure. That is for sure. Hang on here. Oh, interesting. Perry Young has made his date. He's made making his debut for Crew. I've not gone to Crew today, um, for reasons I won't go into. Uh, nothing bad. I just I just didn't go today. Um, and Young Perry Young, surname spelled N and G, is uh, making his debut today. That's really cool. He deserves that. Good player. Uh, anyway, back on with this. So we've going with the young lad on loan from Crystal Palace up top. Coco and Barnes on the wings, then Jones, Parrott and O'Connor, that fantastic midfield three from last season, and Wyatt Nugent, Davis Turton. Basically, everybody in that starting lineup was here last season, apart from Forbes, obviously. And then we've got the youngster Wardle on the bench. He's one of the young players that was already here when crew, uh, you know, when crew start uh, on the game. And he's been out on loan at Bedworth in Cambridge City. I've, I got rid of Oldham, the goalkeeper Oldham, so he went to Dundee for £30,000, I think it was. No, 35000 So I thought I can cope with a kid, with him and the young kid goalkeeper as well. And then Ray, Kirk, Agard, Bailey, Finney and Cole on the bench. And then I don't know what to expect. I mean, Jordan the Beater is going to be a fantastic player, obviously. But apart from that, I don't really know what to expect. Sorry about that, guys. I had to shoot off for a second there. So, here we go. Swindon. Um, passionately. I know a lot of you will be keen to avenge what happened last time we played Swindon, which was about two years ago. So, <laughs> go out there and make up for the loss that you could have done nothing about because you probably weren't even here at the club at the time. So, we're off. We're on the go. Here's Parrot to Jones. Parrot's number seven. Oh, I've given Parrot. I must have changed his number. He was 15, wasn't he, last season? I must have changed it to 17 and not realised. Come on. Give us something to look at, at least. God, we are dominating them. He says as they now come on the break and score. Here we go. Upson. Come on, get out to him. Yep. Fuck off. Fuck off, football manager. Just go fuck off. <laughs> what a load of shit. We were all over them. We had like 72% possession. Oh. It's going to be one of those games, isn't it? One of those games. Birmingham City are in this division. Which is crazy. They came down last year. Who else is there? Barnsley, Swindon, Bradford, Nottingham Forest are in this division. Look at that. Poor defending there. What the hell is the goalkeeper doing? Talk about a delayed reaction from the goalkeeper there. Jesus. Got a highlight stroke from the kickoff. This can either bode well or not well. Or probably no now. It'd be just one of those pointless ones where we just don't do anything with it. Go on, Coco. Forbes. Barnes. Oh! Oh! So close. So close to an equaliser. Oh, God, now look what we've got and done. Dished it on a plate for a counter-attack. Come on, get to him. Well done, Jones. Nice, well done. Well controlled. Oh, what was that? What the frick was that? This is a, This game is just... 
suddenly it went from being, oh, we're doing quite well, to being a goal down now. Two goals coming, maybe. No, no, no. Get it out, get it out, get it out, get it out. Oh, what a save. What a save. And he's put it out. Thank God for that. Jesus, what a mad couple of minutes. Gone from being completely in control, no bother whatsoever, to being peppered. I mean, we're controlling possession, but we they're making far... Oh, go on. Oh, they're making far more, like, chances, clear-cut chances anyway than what we are. Even though it says we've had two each, that can't be right. They've had more chances than us. No way. No way, man. Blackpool leading the way in the league 2-0 up over Doncaster. Easy, motherfuckers. Gillingham 2-0 up at Shrewsbury. Rochdale a one up at MK Dons. Performance has not been good. It hasn't. Let's get aggressive with them. Let's really kick him in the arse. Right. And then Bakes can have a word as well. Oh, sorry. I'm uh, rendering a video as well, so I apologise if something pops up on the screen. <laughs> If you hear my voice talking, suddenly. Oh my god, they're all over us. Oh, great save. Oh, and again, what a couple of saves. From the keeper, that was superb. Well done, Gherkin. Keeping us in this. Right. Okay. Kieran Agard. Get on that pitch. Uh, that'll do us for now. Kieran Agar can get on. See if he can't create something up top. Hmm. Things are not looking good, are they? We have to change things up a bit. Let's go attacking. Oh, hang on, hang on. There we go. You see, I told you that was going to crop up. Run at defence. Okay. Come on. No, it's not happening. Not happening today. Disappointing. Disappointing. I'm going to give them a right rocket from the start. So that they understand that is not acceptable whatsoever. Right. I am not going to be able to give you the Leeds game because I've actually got to go out. That's why I had to shoot off earlier, which has thrown me completely on this video. So I apologise, guys. It's been a bit of a poop-tastic video for the first episode of the new season. So I apologise for that. But I've got to shoot off... Um, I didn't realise we were going out, and we are. So, anyway, guys, we've had a disappointing opening day, but there's a long, long way to go in this season, obviously. Uh, having a little look at the league table, let's have a little look at what we've got. Give us the stages, that's it. So, in terms of teams, I mean, we've got some big teams. Doncaster, a decent team. MK Dons, uh, Rotherham, obviously Forest, massive. Um, Coventry, Pompey, Birmingham... You know, so there's some big teams that have come down into this division. And, you know, it's it's going to be a long, hard season, but I think we could do okay. What's the... Um Oh, here's the dog from next door. No video would be the same without her barking all the way through it. Um, the 14th, we're expected to finish. Obviously, you've got to say Forest and Birmingham would be the odds-on choice to go up, wouldn't you, first of all? But... This is football manager and any old crap can happen. We all know that. We ain't stupid. We all know that. But anyway, guys, I'm going to call it a video there for today. Uh, let's have a look at the final. Yeah, it's okay. Um, thank you for watching. Please hit the like button if you've enjoyed it. If you're really enjoying these series and videos, please consider dropping a subscribe on the channel. I appreciate it. And you're going to be one more subscription than I ever expected to get. So that's a bonus for me and for you. Ta-da. Anyway, guys, it's been a pleasure being in your face. Bye-bye.